Garrett, the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. They'll go with their leading rusher from a season ago. This is Aaron Jones. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Let's go. Let's do it. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. Week five for Aaron Jones, by the way, was a game for the ages at Dallas. 19 carries, 107 yards, four touchdowns. First packer to run for four scores since Dorsey Levens 20 years ago. And the first player ever to run for four touchdowns against the Dallas Cowboys. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Williams. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made there by Jared Davis. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And Detroit getting set to go now. Ready. Line of scrimmage, Ready. the 31 now on first and 10. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. <laughs> now Stafford. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again, Stafford, and that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely, frees up your guys elsewhere. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. Throwing a Stanford. It's caught. Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. I don't care how many times we say it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Just beating the play clock, Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 
15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. We won it! Come to my work! Look at Jones has it. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. On second and 15 now. Stafford complete to Jones. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Defensively, they better figure something out. Opening drive, he already has four catches. And if you have to figure out how to stop him defensively, that usually means you weaken your defense. That means that now the offense is doing the dictating. And they... Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Zadarius Smith came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Here's Johnson, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that is going to set up third and goal. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Caught by Jones. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Ten yards gets him closer, but now it's fourth and goal. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Packers offense making their way back out. Earlier we discussed the Week 5 victory in Dallas, 34-24. You know, it's really been something how they've dominated Dallas. They've won eight of their last nine against the Cowboys. In fact, Green Bay 5-0 all-time at AT&T Stadium. That includes a playoff win a few years back against Dallas and then the Super Bowl 45 victory against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, the back of the schedule for Green Bay is loaded with games on the road, so they'll try to take advantage of the next two at home against Detroit and then against Oakland. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Hey, let's go, let's go. 
Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Looking to throw on second down. Rodgers, and Graham's got it, complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Throwing is Rodgers. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. They begin the drive with Johnson. A gain of three, second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Zadarius Smith leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Like the footwork back there. I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. Looking downfield for Jones. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Wasn't it fun in pregame standing downstairs and watching Matthew Stafford throw the football? I mean, that bad boy it's just whistled. I he mean, can just rock it. It just whistled by us, didn't it? But what is the one knock on him? Accuracy. Yeah. And that's what we just saw there, an incompletion on that throw downfield. And here now the putter, Martin, booming this one away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. To throw is Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. And a throw there going to be incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Lions will take over. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 
Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he slips up past the 45 before being go, tackled. Boy, Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing. Puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. A big hitter to start the drive. Has him up near midfield here for first and 10. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now, first and 15 following the delay of game. Here's Stafford. James has got it, complete. Give him six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford, Zadarius Smith able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big Check sack. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. Back to throw, Stafford. Screenplay, Johnson. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on Keep into the end off. zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Let's go, heavy. Let's go, heavy. Heavy, what you got? What you got, heavy? Heavy, heavy, heavy? It's caught here by Adams. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. They go play action here on first down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scanlon. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Rodgers. 
This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. Rodgers now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. On second down now, it's Jones. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Open man is Allison complete. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Rodgers to Allison, good for a Green Bay first down. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Steps away to his left. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Geronimo Allison, the intended target, and it's third and short. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. Got a man, that's Allison. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. A one-yard touchdown pass, and the Packers have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. 
This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This let's will go, be a touchback, and go. it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Oh, yeah. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Now it's Stafford. And he's got Amendola on the connection. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Let's get it together. Running from the gun, Johnson. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. But he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run... Not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Here's Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Detroit. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about 8 or 9. That looks to be 8 officially, so second and 2. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. They stay on the ground. This time it's Williams. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Open here is Allison. That's complete. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately, 
They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Rodgers. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. The Packers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time it's third and three. And again, it's Rodgers. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers, yeah, too. Yeah, tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left Let's anyway. Go, it's go. no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And Andola's got it complete. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. And Detroit getting set to go now. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Stafford. He completes it to Jones. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And it's incomplete. Johnson the intended target, and it's second down. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. <laughs> On second and ten, Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver. And now it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And he fends him off. Escapes the sack. But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Sam Martin now. 
He's been terrific so far. Let's go, baby. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. They'll get three out of the dump off there, and that'll lead to a third down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And now here's a deep shot that's complete, and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Here we go. Here we go. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. A first down carry here for Johnson. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go to Johnson again. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Lions are going to jump back in front. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. Crater for the extra point. And the lead is now 10-7.
So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple Let's extra go, yards up to the 27 yard line. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick started for them. And you know, at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Rodgers now to throw. And incomplete. Crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Rodgers gives this to Jamal Williams. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Trey Flowers there on the tackle. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. The ex-Iowa Hawkeye Mike Daniels in for the sack. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at the 20. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Again, it's Johnson. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. What an advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And this will do the job nicely as that'll be out of bounds Come just on, inside man. the 10-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. 
continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And he checks this one down to Williams. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Rodgers now on first down. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really... Now look out, Rodgers, lost the football! So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing... Not a fumble that. loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Throwing on second and long. Rodgers, and he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. That catch good for five. It's third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. On third down, Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. He's got the only touchdown that they've scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Packer pressure, and down he goes. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Stafford. That's to his running back, on Johnson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll force upon him a third and 14. Mark the set, lady. Slam, slam, slam. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford looking downfield for Jones. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something 
There's nothing available there for him. That's taken on the 25. 12 yards on the return that time. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. A gain of six there on first. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Aaron Rodgers, three fourth quarter comebacks last year. That's the most he's had in one season in his entire career, and he's going to need another one right now. On second down, it's Williams, and he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Rodgers to throw on third and one. He's got Adams on the hookup. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Here's Rodgers to throw. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scandling. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards on the play. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Flush to his right. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. To throw again on second down. Rodgers got a man. That's Allison. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now Jones. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use – the back end of the end zone, the sidelines, is extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Packers have retaken the lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Crosby connects on the extra point, And the lead is now 14 to 10.
Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be Let's a go, touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general Matt, rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And it's caught here. Amendola, a gain of six there on first. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Give me that ball, defense. Give me that ball. <laughs> now Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards, a first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Stafford now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Here's Stafford. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware okay, a ball may come your way. Ready. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again, it's Stafford. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Kevin King with a pick. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They begin the drive with Williams. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line, they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back, tell them to take care of the ball, and try to move forward. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. Yeah, Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for Green Bay. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt, not too shabby. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So out now come the Lions. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Throwing again on second and 10. Stafford. 
It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Detroit. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. That's it, that's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Rogers gonna try and throw on third down. He's gonna sling this deep downfield. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. Oh, and he's taken down here by his face mask by the looks of it. And a penalty flag is gonna give a much better starting position. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. To throw again, Stafford. Complete, it's Johnson. They'll give him a yard on the play, and they're going to have a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. 
fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. Because they have, you're right, they've had no room to breathe. They'll run it with Johnson. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Ready, and watch the let's go, let's go. Mike Tech, lady. 42, check, check, Mike 42. Now a first down throw, Stafford, screen play, Johnson. A nice little screen, they get six on first down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. He'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. Kenny Galladay, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. This entire defensive unit, Charles, they've really put in a good shift tonight, so to speak. I like how you phrase that. This has been a good shift. They punched the clock the entire <laughs> evening. They ought to have shirts that have their names on them in the front to let them know these are blue-collar workers who are getting it done. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. They snap it to Stafford. And no, it's incomplete. Let's they go, had to go for go. it with such little time remaining. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. Yeah, another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. To throw is Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. 
A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So Stafford and the Lions now down 14-10, under a minute 20 to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Back to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The intended target, T.J. Hawkinson, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving him nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. He's back to throw. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Zadarius Smith in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Stafford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Danny Amendola, the man he was trying to get it to. And that'll make it third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Stafford. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Down four late, got to go for it here on fourth down. Let's go, D. Here we go on fourth, Stafford. Oh, a hit, he lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football.